everyone. Today I wanted to do something I've not really done formally before and that is a channel update. So I'm here with what's left of my green tea and I just want to kind of casually talk about what's going to be going on on the channel in the months to come. So first of all, you might be a long term viewer, I know there are some of you out there and some of you might be a little more new to the channel. To kind of start the video, I want to recap on something I did mention in a previous video and that is this time 12 months ago I caught a cold basically. It wasn't a life threatening illness, it wasn't pneumonia, although I didn't go to the doctor so it, it may very well have been pneumonia, we'll never know and I contracted uh, one of the worst colds of my life. It affected my chest more so than any other part of my body. And one day I may very well dig out some footage that I tried to record during this period just to prove to you how difficult it was. It didn't just make me feel crap, but the quality of my videos was suffering for it. I was losing breath very easily and I was finding it hard to laugh, hard to shout, that sort of thing, and that made recording videos an increasingly difficult challenge. And after several weeks of this cough continuing, I more or less gave up on videos altogether. And time went on, Christmas came and went, time continued to pass. The next thing you know, it was June before I found myself making another video and it's amazing how quickly that six months flew by and that brings us to now uh, a year later I'm finally back into the flow of making videos and I hope to continue creating content um, at the rate that I am I've invested in a new camera which I have here and the story of that camera if you've seen my video where I unboxed Matt Heafy's Les Paul I kind of briefly explained there about how the tripod collapsed whilst this camera was sat on top of it and it completely broke the flip out mechanism. So I sent it off to get repaired, it wasn't covered by the warranty and the camera wasn't on our house insurance because it was new and we hadn't added it on. So I ended up having to pay pretty much the price of the camera itself <laughs> in order to get it fixed which is why I haven't been using it up to this point. So I'm using it now, I'm still getting to know it, I'm still playing around with the focus settings. You might hear the focusing as it's happening. I was, I read online that the focusing was silent, but obviously that's not the case. I'm yet to invest in a microphone, so I'm trying my best not to shout. Um, that's another reason why I used to shout on my videos because I was using very low quality recording equipment in terms of my camera and the built in microphones on those sort of things just aren't great so I'm very used to having to shout in my videos and I'm trying to keep it at a normal volume at the moment. <laughs> so camera equipment is pretty much there. I'm still yet to invest in lighting, so soft boxes, that sort of thing, and microphones. That's all yet to come. I'm hoping that after Christmas is out of the way with, because let's face it, that's like the most expensive time of the year. I'm hoping to start investing a little bit more into these sorts of things. And going back to the subject of my time off, I mentioned that I tried to record some videos and that I did. I've made the decision, although it may not generally uh, be of use to you now, it may not spark your interests and it probably won't generate many views, but that doesn't bother me at all. I've decided I'm going to try and re-record the videos that I tried to make one year ago. So some of the items that are in there might be a little bit outdated. Some of the items are in fact out of print items. So I think from a collector's perspective, be you a collector of movies or books or games, whatever it is, I think there's going to be something of interest to you within those sorts of videos. Uh, and I'm very much looking forward to making those because I was, I was so disappointed and upset when I initially recorded these videos and they, they didn't surface. I looked back on the footage and I was more or less devastated by the quality of them. 
speaking of quality, as you can see, it's not very well lit today. We are now coming into the winter months here in the UK and generally speaking, the sun doesn't rise till about half past seven, eight a.m. and it starts to set at around 5 p.m. if not a little bit earlier as the weeks move on. So this does mean that my window of opportunity for recording is going to be limited somewhat, which also will affect, again, it will affect the quality of the video. And as I say, I haven't got soft boxes yet. So until I'm able to jump that hurdle, I just hope you can put up with it for a little bit longer. Another thing worth mentioning, although it doesn't affect you guys that much, it affects me. My work rotor, so yes, I am a full-time worker. My rotor has changed quite significantly. So the hours which I work during the day, or should I say during the night, uh, do, does affect what I'm able to do before I work or after I work. And my living situation, or rather my family circumstances, I won't get into the details, also affects when and how long I can record for. So I've taken all of this into account and I'm doing my best to kind of schedule what I want to record, when I want to record it. And I've only just recently discovered the schedule feature on YouTube where you can upload something or you can delay how long it is before it's uploaded. I know the feature has been around for like years, but it's never really occurred to me to use it before. So I'm going to try my best to utilise more of the functions YouTube has to offer in order to make my channel a little bit more exciting and a little bit more constant in its uploads rather than these kind of sporadic peaks that you'll notice from me every now and then. I'm also open to any sort of requests. Um, so recently I've been kind of just doing whatever comes to mind. So I've been doing my unboxings as I always have done. And I've also started delving into what sort of games I have. If you have any requests as to the sort of content you wouldn't mind me trying out, I'm open to the suggestion because at the end of the day, it's your feedback that's more important. You're the ones who have to watch this crap. I just make it. <laughs> so your input's very much appreciated. But this then also goes on to the topic of like let's plays and walkthroughs, that sort of a thing and reviews. Those are all the sorts of things I would have loved to have done this time eight years ago before it became quite the thing that it did. And as time has gone on, it's proven that it's, it's going to be less lucrative for someone to start dabbling in that now, not unless they're in, amazingly talented at it. Not to mention, I don't really have the know-how or the equipment. I mean, there used to be a time where you use capture cards, but now people just do live streaming and people just upload straight from their PlayStation 4s, that sort of thing. And this is all information that I know is readily available, but I have a tough time understanding it sometimes, especially when you've got people who literally do walkthroughs and let's plays for a living. They have all sorts at their disposal. Again, because it's their livelihood, they can put the 150% into it, as whereas someone like myself, like I say, my living arrangement and working arrangements wouldn't necessarily allow for me to have a certain set day to live stream and that sort of thing. So it sounds like I'm putting obstacles in the way but honestly it's more a case of I'm still learning and once I feel comfortable enough to start doing these things then I will but at the moment I honestly, I'm a deer in headlights. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> the only problem with this camera, it tells you how much longer you've got left to record, but it doesn't tell you how long you've been recording for. So I'm sorry if this is dragged out a little bit longer than anticipated. And in terms of investing in other stuff, I'm at the stage in my life now where I'm trying to get a home of my own and I'm learning to drive finally so again these are all things that require money and if I'm quite frank they are priorities in my life right now I'm hoping to get all of that kind of completed within the next few months the house part might take a bit longer but the driving I definitely want that done as soon as possible 
And once these sorts of things have been achieved, that will also then enable me to do a lot more than what I want than what I currently am. And this goes for things like conventions. I've never been to a convention before purely because train tickets and overnight stay, expensive, 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 time off work, near on impossible sometimes. You get my you get where I'm coming from, right? So in terms of what the future of my channel has to offer. It's a little bit ambiguous at the moment, I can appreciate that, but I've got plenty of ideas in the pipeline. I'm going to give them a go and see how you guys react to them and see what sort of thing is more popular. I must admit, I look back through some of my old videos and the ones that are the most popular are the ones that surprise me the most. For example, my the one CD unboxing I've ever done and that is the Slipknot. 10th anniversary unboxing is pretty much my most viewed video and that I never would have imagined that to be the case. That, so again that is very difficult because I'm not a CD collector so to make more videos like that would be very difficult for me. So that pretty much wraps up this little update. I hope this was of some use to you guys just to kind of keep you in the know as to what's happening with the channel. I will be uploading as much as I possibly can when I get the opportunities. I have got some family coming to visit within the next couple of weeks so I'm hoping to get some stuff ready for you and then I'm going to utilise that oh so useful schedule option. That do stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed and you've stumbled across my videos a few times in the past then just go ahead and click the subscribe button, it's not going to hurt you. I'm also on Instagram, I need to start mentioning this more often, uh, so go ahead and find me on there. My username is spelled the exact same way that it is here. Like I say, drop me a comment um, with any suggestions you have for future videos, I'm very open to suggestions. At the end of the day, you're the ones watching, so you should have some say in what you get to see. As always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. I will see you all again very soon. Bye.